Okay, so lesson one six. We're in part one here. We are basically reviewing solving systems of linear equations. By the time we're done with part one, we're going to have graphed, we're going to have substituted, and we're going to have eliminated. Okay? Whether we get through all those today is a whole other story. So let's review. Now, this follows up with what we did yesterday, right? Yesterday we were taking one equation, breaking it into two parts, and we were graphing it, right? We were looking at graphing and at what x value did they meet. Today, we've got two equations to solve, or two equations, and we're trying to find the solution to this system of equations. So any solutions that work in both equations, okay? okay. So if we start with negative 3x plus 2y equals 8, Thoughts on how to graph this? I, I, I didn't make them easy on you because I want we needed to practice some of these skills. Mm. Honest, okay. know, What's yeah. your thought, Aaron? The first thing, me personally, I would do is I'd put it in y equals mx plus b. Okay. Um, Valid thought. Uh, is okay. It right is that right? We wound up, but yes, that's exactly what I would I would say right. is <clears throat> what's our favorite graphing form? Y equals <laughs> mx plus b. Y equals <laughs> mx plus b. So that is exactly what I would do. So if I'm trying to get y by itself, I'm going to move my x, and we're going to add the 3x. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I, I am, yes, I am teaching Algebra 1 right now. This is an Algebra 1 class, not an Algebra 2 class at this exact moment. Okay. So we're going to add the 3x over. Then we have 2y equals I prefer instead of 8 plus 3x, 3x three three plus 8. Okay. It's still not quite y equals. I need to divide. Divide by 2. And now y equals. That fraction is good. <clears throat> Oh, that fraction's in a great spot. If I'm going to have a fraction, I want it right there with the x. Yep. Because that fraction is my slope. slope. Yes. Slope is good to be fractions. Okay. So that was all algebra 1 stuff. Actually, you know what? This might even be pre-algebra at this point, <laughs> solving for y. Okay? This is old school. So we solve for y, and now my job is to graph, graph it. Yes, sir. So. Sure. We have a y-intercept where? Four. 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 Right here at our b value. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. four. Oh, oh, I'll do the next four. And then we have? A uh, rise of three and then two. Run. 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 Well, yeah, run of two, but like you go right. Yeah. Up okay. three over two. So it's a slope of three halves. <laughs> Gatlin is telling me to rise three, run to the right two. Yep. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Now, technically, two dots make a point, yes? Or, excuse me, two points make a line. Yeah. Now, my recommendation, though, I'm going to be looking for an intersection point eventually. So, you know, yesterday I was kind of dot crazy. I like to make lots of dots because now the more dots I make, the more accurate my line is. So I can go up 3 over 2 again. Precise. I can reverse it and go down three, left two. Now, you don't necessarily have to go all the way. You can. If you can do it quietly. Okay. So, for me, the more dots I make, the more precise my line is, the better this will work out in the end. Now we've got to repeat the process. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. So we're graphing, as I said, 
I often do not just give them to you in Y equals MX plus B form because are they always given to you in Y equals MX plus B form? No. So we've got to review these skills. As I said, that was purely algebra one I just talked. Okay. X plus 2Y equals negative 8. Again, it's not in the form. Y equals MX plus B. So how am I going to get Y by itself? Okay. We're going to subtract X. Subtract X. I like this. She's not taking you guys to trap. She's like, nope. Well, I, she's going to imagine dragons in that, so she's just got to get in the, in the mode. The <laughs> <laughs> I like okay. So we're going to subtract <laughs> X. 2Y. Now, negative 8 minus X. Again, I reversed it. You may or may not. Negative X minus 8. And then we're going to... Divide by 2, yep. and we divide by that 2, you're dividing everybody by 2, yes? Yeah, yes. So the y equals is the easy part. Now, negative x divided by 2. What is a good way to think of negative x divided by 2? What is that, Aaron? Negative 1. Negative, negative one, 1 and a half. Divided by 2. Negative 1 over 2. Okay, so I'm going to put this as there's an invisible 1 up there. So it's negative 1 over 2. So I just wrote it as negative 1 half x. And then minus 8 divided by 2 is 4. four. Okay. And we'll write a graph again, yes? Okay. So, with that in mind, where is my first point at? Negative uh, plus four. Negative four. <laughs> <laughs> negative four. Now, when we go to do this slope of negative one half, make one of your numbers negative, yes? Yeah, yes. So, what are my options? I could. Make one negative. If I make the one negative, I'm going to go down, down one. one. To the right two. To the right two. That's right. Down one, right two. Or I can reverse it. Positive one, negative two, which is what I'm going to have to do here, and go up one, left two. Up one, left two. Up one, left two. Up one, left two. Did I hit a key point? You betcha. Yeah. I touched the other line, which is what I needed to do. Okay, so keep in mind, I'm a, I never wrote down y equals mx plus b today. So I'm going to write that up there as a reminder. Am I done with this problem? Uh, no. No, you have to tell the, wait, solve the system. Yeah. No, we don't want to solve. What is the it system doesn't say equations? that, Gatlin. It says okay. solve the system of equations. Well, solve the system of equations by graphing. What's, What's the what answer? The graph. The graph. I need more than just the graph. The intersection point. point. The Excellent. intersection point. Negative. What is the intersection point? Negative four. Negative four, negative two. Okay. So today, we want the whole ordered pair. Oh, 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 they want the whole cake. Yep. We want the whole thing. So we're going to have an answer of negative four, comma, negative two. Because here, guys, the difference, yesterday, if you look back in yesterday's notes when we were solving, we only had x's. I only needed to know what x is. Today, notice, my problem had x's and y's. And so I'm looking for an x uh, value and y value. That makes sense. Can we try I second that. All right. So is this like the same thing as yesterday? Just the That's y the best value? way I learned. I love it. That's how I learned. Right, I mean, it is in a way. I mean, you are... Other than yesterday you are providing one equation, we split it into two parts. Today I'm providing you with two full equations. Okay. But you're doing the same thing in that we're graphing. We're using y equals mx plus b. We're looking for where they intersect. Except today I want the whole coordinate as your answer. Right? Okay? So. 
Some of you are anxious and working ahead, yes? Oh, yeah. yeah. So some of you are saying, yeah, no. I always encourage you, you know, it doesn't hurt to get a step or two ahead of me and just keep an eye on what I'm doing because I'm going to keep going some. So first equation, x minus 2y equals 4. If I'm trying to get this to be y equals, first thing I'm going to do is, okay, work to get the y term by itself, so subtract x. Now, what does that leave me here on the left? That's a negative 2y? Yep, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Equals. And then x is cancel 4 minus x, which I'm going to write it as yeah. negative x plus 4. Okay. Am I done? Am I ready to graph? Okay, we've got to get that y by itself. We've got to divide by negative 2. Note, I'm dividing everybody by negative 2. Now, on this one, negative x divided by negative 2. Negative, negative divided by a negative is a positive. positive. In front of that x is an invisible 1. one. So we can think of this as 1 half x plus 4 divided by negative 2. So that's going to be plus. minus 2 plus negative 2 if you want. But I like minus 2. Oh. Okay, you ready to graph? Yeah. Or maybe you already graphed? I've graphed both. Y-intercept of <laughs> negative 2. Slope of one over one half one, one over two. Rise one, run two. Rise one, run two. And I don't know. Do some of you need to make me write rise over run on your paper as a reminder? I can also reverse this and go down one, left two. Okay. If you're working ahead, does your first line match my first line? Yeah, it does. That's your bottom dollar. That's your bottom dollar. Bottom, bottom dollar. Bottom dollar. Okay. Now we have 3x plus y equals 5 is our other one to graph. How are we going to get y by itself? Subtract the Oh, no. Subtract the x. We're going to subtract 3x this time. So now I have y equals, now, 5 minus 3x? Negative 3x plus 5. Negative 3x plus 5 if you prefer. Now, y-intercept of 5. And then to make negative 3 a fraction, put it over 1. And so now, rise negative 3. So fall negative 3, run positive 1 is right 1. And if you've done everything correctly, it lands on a point, yes? For what we're doing with these, your points should land on top of each other, right? Yeah. They shouldn't be out in no man's land where, okay, my line's crossed, but I don't know at what point. If you're if you're using my dots here, they meet, don't they? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Done? Yep. No. no. It's, yep. it's two negative ones. Okay. The easy mistake to make, which is why I always kind of make you think it through. You stop right here. You've done all this awesome work, but I can't give you full credit on a test. Because you didn't tell me the answer. What is my answer? Two negative one.
Yes. Did you get it right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is still more review of what we did yesterday in a way. Officially, though, this is solving by graphing. Now, here's your deal. Is solving by graphing our go-to method usually? No. Unless you guys are told graph to solve this system of equations, you guys are usually probably not going to jump into graphing, are you? So. Okay. Now. Let's talk substitution. Between substitution and elimination, everybody usually has their own personal favorite. Honestly, for me, it depends on what the problem's set up as. Okay? And as I look at these next two couple of problems, my first example here, to me, this is definitely set up for salt, uh, substitution. I would prefer to use substitution over elimination on this problem. Now, do we remember how substitution works? No. No. I, I think I can explain it. Oh, God. This is scary. So, <clears throat> so, you, on the first equation, you make y zero, and you solve, or you make x zero, one of the two. And then you figure out what that is, yep. and then you plug it into this bottom <laughs> equation. Yep. Got it Disagree. Right Disagree. Algebra one is Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> field algebra one, you should not be sitting here right now. Final. He so. didn't feel anything. He always says he feels. Okay. Anything. Substitution. First of all, look for an equation that is either x equals or y equals. Do I have an equation that is x equals or y equals? X and I do. Yes. Yep. yes. I have an equation that is y equals. 7 minus x. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute that y value into the other equation. So I'm going to use the idea that every place I see a y, I'm going to replace it with 7, 7 minus, minus x. x. Okay? So I must teach this the same as Mrs. Rogers or something because uh, you guys are talking with me and I haven't even said it. I, didn't, I, I, I learned it with me. I remember it now. Okay, so every place I see a y, I'm going to replace it with 7 minus x. So, in the other equation. So this equation, x plus 3y equals 7, is x plus 3 times, what am I putting in there? 7 minus x. 7 minus x. Yes. You put in parentheses. Equals 7. She did put in parentheses. I put in parentheses, yes. We've got to put in parentheses so that we have it all shown as multiplying, otherwise... You might not get the next step right. Okay, so this is substitution. Now, the point of this is that I now have one equation that is only has x's. I went from having an equation with x and y, I have one equation that has x's. Solve. If we're going to solve, I did put parentheses because there's more than one term. So we're going to distribute. x stays x. And keep in mind, I can't add x and 3 because this 3 is attached to the 7 minus x. So we're going to multiply 3 times 7 minus x, and it's going to be 3 times 7 is 21, 21. minus 3 times x. Okay? After you distribute, you can solve Combine, combine okay. the terms. We can combine like terms in that we have an x and a minus 3x. What is x minus 3x? Negative 2x. Okay. 1x minus 3x. Negative 2x. We still have a plus 21 equals 7. Focus with me, guys. How do I solve for x? If it's negative 2x plus 21, we're uh, going to... Minus subtract 7. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to subtract 21 <laughs> because I'm trying to get my x by itself. Okay. So if I subtract the 21, I have negative 2x. Negative, negative 7 minus 21 is negative 14. 
And then if it's negative 2x equals negative 14, divide by negative 2. And x is 7. Question. Question? Why didn't you just subtract 7 and then go? Why don't you just subtract 7 and then you get negative 2x and minus 7, so that equals 14 divided by 2. Yeah, you gotta deal with all these negatives. That's what we missed for That's what we've taught. Well, guess what? We you were not taught that. I can guarantee. You are not taught that because I know the math teachers at TC. You are not taught that. So you always want, if you take the 7 over the 21, you're going to get the wrong sign because you're going to end up with, you're still going to have the negative 2x. You're going to be doing a positive by a negative. You're going to get the wrong answer. You always want your variables on one side, numbers on the other side. has to work that way. You can't have them on the same side or you're not truly solving there. So that might be valid. Now. We need to pause here for a moment. Am I ready to move on to example two? Wait, no. one thing? I have no clue. Oh, you have to re-plug in X for the top equation. Oh. You're so smart. Okay, here. so we're not done. If you think back to the top half, those graphs, what kind of answers did those graphs have? They had, the, the they had two answers. <laughs> they had the ordered pairs, right? I, every problem we're doing on this lesson today is going to have an ordered pair answer. Oh, it equals zero. Except so. Single one. Every single now, practice. where are we going to plug this 7 back into? X where? Top one's easier. Okay. Top one. Officially, pick whichever equation looks better to you. The bottom one. The top one. To me, the top one. Now, if you're saying the bottom one looks easier, and use that. I like the top one because it's already solved y equals, so I just have to plug in the math. Y equals zero. So y equals 7 minus 7, 14. Yeah. which is 0. How should you express your final answer? Um, 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 ordered pair. Ordered pair, uh, 7, 0. Beach to M. Okay. Guys, seriously, need focus here, okay? Substitution is coming back to you a little bit then. Yes. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Or if you're saying, yeah, I don't ever really remember getting this or learning it, are you okay with what I just did? I, I mean, am, you know. I am, but I know that it gets a lot more. I say, Eileen, you seem to, once I start into it, you're like, oh, okay, I have that. Like okay. It was just understanding what, what I meant by substitution. Yeah. Okay. Next equation. Okay, so when we when I ask you to use substitution, I'm always going to start with you need one equation to be either x equals or y equals. Do I have an equation that is x equals or y equals? Yes, I do, don't I? I have x equals and so x is equivalent to 2y minus 5. So in my other equation, every place I see in x, x. I can replace it with 2y minus, y minus 5. 5, right? So in this equation here, it's 3 times x. But I don't want to say x. x is 2y minus 5. Now, keep writing the rest of the equation. So it's 3x. There's my 3x. Still y, minus y equals 5. Okay? We need to distribute. So 6y minus 15. Still minus y equals 5. What's next? You combine like terms. Okay. These like terms are already on the same side of the equation. So don't do any opposites or anything fancy. Just what is 6y minus y? So 
So 5y minus 15 equals 5. Okay, if it's a 5y minus 15, we're going to do this my way, not Aaron's way, and we're going to add 15. 5 plus 15 is 20. I guess you wouldn't want to add it to get rid of the negative this time. So. I'm always for no negative. If it's 5 times y, divide by 5, y is 4. Am I done? No. no. You're not going to get full credit if you stop here. you got to plug it in. Where do you want to plug it into? The top. top. Yeah. Pick one of the two equations. I'm going to use x equals 2y minus 5. I'm going to plug that 4 in. So 2 times 4 minus 5. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 5 is... Three. The y plus the x equal my double number. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, final answer of 3, comma 4. That's all we have. That's all we have. Yeah. They have a question. I think it helps because when I learned it with read, I didn't couldn't focus. Read. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, I okay. I'm struggling because we could start the next problem, but I'm not sure we'd get through it. Here, before I hold on real quick, we're not actually going to do the next problem, but as you look at this next problem, it changes up. What's different? There's no x or y equals. Okay. There's no x equals or y equals. So what are we going to have to do? Make one. You have to do the y thing. We have to make one. Um, now, this is still okay for substitution because on the top one, there's a nice 1x here, isn't there? So if you move that 2y over, you could have x equals pretty easily. And then, so, like, that's going to be my suggestion is we take that top one, make it x equals. I wouldn't go for the bottom. I mean, the bottom one would require a little bit more because you want a positive y. <laughs> Excuse me. But that's going to be where we'll go with that. So Monday, plan to finish a couple more substitution, plan to review elimination with me, and then you will have the part one homework, however I decide to do that, okay?